Hey guys, how's it going? Mitch Flower Power here. I want to take this chance to explain to everyone what the early hammer is in Super Mario Bros. 3. There's been a lot of questions and sometimes it's really hard to explain while playing at the same time. The reason I'm telling you guys all this is because I will be grinding out the early hammer and I will not stop grinding early hammer until I get the world record with a substantial difference in the world record and in the SMB3 time. So let's kind of jump right in. The Hammer Brothers move across the world map by one space at a time or two spaces at a time, okay? So they can either move from one space to the next space or they can travel across a level and move to the space after the level. Uh, they can't they can't stay on top of mushroom houses, they can't stay on top of spade card games, and they can't travel or even cross on top of uh, the pipe zones throughout the worlds and throughout the levels. World 2. This is where early hammer is the most important thing. So what you want to do is you want to get the hammer brother with the hammer that starts by the pyramid to move up two spaces left across level 4, so he's in between the mushroom house and level 4, down and left across the sun level, so he's in between level 3 and the sun level, then left across level 3 and whether he moves up or down doesn't matter. At that point, you got the hammer brother, you kill him, you get the hammer, break the block, go to the pyramid, skip three levels, and you save about 40, 40 seconds to a minute and 30 seconds. So, every time you die, let's take example for this, this first hammer brother right here. Let's use that as an example, okay? When you die, the hammer brother can clearly only move to the left or to the right. So when you die, or if you beat a level, say level one right there, say I beat that, the hammer brother is going to move either left or right. The hammer brother can move up if it moves left or it can move down, okay? And if it moves right, it can move up or it can move down. So you can see after you beat the first level here, all the directions that this one hammer brother can go in. And if you look over to the right here, you can see there's a hammer brother here that will move and there's a hammer brother here that will move as well, okay? With that being said, let me just clarify one quick little thing there. The Hammer Brothers will move depending on what frame you end the level at. So they are 100% RNG, technically not even RNG at all if we were robots, but we are not robots. So we cannot know what frame we're on, and even if we did know what frame we were on, we would never be able to constantly control it from the start of the game until this point. Here is the description of Early Hammer in a way that you guys can understand because you have the actual image here and I can kind of draw here and let, and let you guys know what's going on. So we, we are going to enter the world on the start point, okay? Now keep in mind that these Hammer Brothers all right here, these three, they start in the exact same spot every single time you enter the world. Their position doesn't change and what item they hold also doesn't change. This Hammer Brother will always be the music box. This hammer brother will always be the hammer, and this hammer brother will always be the warp whistle. Now, with that being said, I'm going to start the world, I'm going to come up, I'm going to beat level 1, okay? So the hammer brothers, they are going to do a movement depending on whenever I, whatever frame I end the level on, okay? So like I said before, this hammer brother right here, he has the option to either move left, up, and down, or right, up, and down. Okay, so you have to remember whenever you start world 2 you can only see anything from the left of this line That's all you can see you can only see anything from the left of that line you can see this hammer brother right here Okay, you can see him, but you can't see anything past this point so you can see you can see all of this stuff Everything but you can't see any of this stuff. So when the hammer brothers are moving you don't know exactly where they're going Okay and that's what I mentioned before about the things you need to listen to for early hammer. So let's go ahead and say we beat level one, okay? And this hammer brother right here, he moved left and let's just say up. Who knows what direction he's going to move in. So let's pretend for a second that the hammer brother is right here on this spot, okay? Now, this hammer brother on the right, right here, he can move up to this space right here. Movement of one is what we call it, okay? So let's pretend that that Hammer Brother's right here. Now, keep in mind that the Hammer Brother with the warp whistle all the way on the right side, it's very rare for him to do a movement of two and go up to the Mushroom House and come back. 
So ideally, you don't even need to listen for his movements. It will. It's extremely rare for him to trick you into doing a movement of two when you think he's going to do a movement of one, whereas other Hammer Brothers would do movements of one or two, which ideally would throw you off. But in the case of how rare it is that he will do a movement of two, he won't throw you off. So after I beat level one, that's where they moved, okay? So I beat level two, and let's just say this Hammer Brother that is right here, he moves to the left and does a movement of one. So now, now he's right here, okay? Now let's say this Hammer Brother right here that was right here moves up one more time, okay? And he moves right here, okay? So this Hammer Brother's up here. We just beat level two, so now we're going to the fortress. We got a Hammer Brother right here. We got a Hammer Brother right here. Okay, so we beat the fortress, okay? The fortress is completed. Now let's say the Hammer Brother that's right here moves down to this space, okay? So now we have a Hammer Brother right here, and let's say the Hammer Brother that was right here moves across level 4 and goes right here. Again, we still can't see him, but he's there. We beat the fortress. This is where it gets really important. Most of the time, anyone playing this will travel from the fortress, go to level 3, and beat level 3. Or, you know, they'll beat the Hammer Brother. But in Warpless, you don't want the Hammer Brother with the music box, so that won't be likely. Remember, the Hammer Brother that's right here is the Hammer Brother that was right here. Okay, so we don't, we don't need that music box. We only care about the Hammer, which is in between the Mushroom House and level 4. So what, what you want to do for early Hammer and this is, again, you want to get really lucky for this, is you want to go into level 3 and die. Now remember I said that the Hammer Brothers will move after you complete a level or when you die. So if you die, the Hammer Brothers will do another movement. Now after you die in level 3, a death will cost you anywhere, depending on how fast you die, depending where you die, depending what the death is. Normally you can die right away by the Fire Snake. That's the most, that's the most essential death. You can go in and you can die on level 3. Okay, and that will cause the Hammer Brothers to do a movement. So let's just say you are the luckiest person alive, and the Hammer Brother that's in between the Mushroom House and level 4, he decides to take a trip across the Sun level and go in between level 3 and the Sun level. We have a Hammer Brother right here. The Hammer Brother in between the Mushroom House and level 4 is right here. So this Hammer Brother during that movement, he decided to be, uh, he decided to be a little jerk and move down in front of the castle. So let's get rid of these. So we got a Hammer Brother here, and then we have the Hammer Brother with the hammer, the, the one that was down here. He moved all the way up after those three levels, then the death, into the position where the Music Box Hammer Brother starts. Uh, now that the Hammer Brother's in our path, we need to, uh, we, essentially we need to fight him. But the cool thing is, is we want to die one more time, because the Hammer Brother with the hammer isn't across level 3 yet. And we need to get him across level 3 because... As you guys know, he has the hammer, and look at that. There is a block right there waiting to be broken by the hammer. Luckily enough, we get lucky that we need to die anyway. So really, he's not in our way. He's actually saving us time. We don't need to travel all the way up to level 3, you know, travel across two spaces, go up and enter a level. We just need to, we just need to hit the right on the D-pad, boom, go in the level, die by him. So let's say we die, and this hammer brother that was in our way moves back up above us, okay? So he's right here, and then the Hammer Brother with the hammer, who moved all the way over in between level 3 and the Sun level, he moved across level 3 and came down. Then we get to go from the fort, we get to fight the Hammer Brother with the hammer, we obtain the hammer, we go down, we break the block, we travel all the way across, and we go straight to the pyramid. So what we're doing by doing that is we are skipping level 3, the Sun level, and level 5, okay? or, depending which direction you have to go in caused by the Hammer Brothers, level 4. Either way, all three of those levels combined with selecting the level, traveling to the level, and the end, the end scene with the levels, you know, getting a life, or the points and scores, and it's saying you got a card, and the game's super happy for you that beat the level, yeah, it takes forever. That sums up pretty close to a minute and 30 seconds. Minute 20, minute 25, let's just range it anywhere between a minute and 20 and a minute and 30. Now, you have to remember, we died two times. Each death costs you about, let's go crazy, 11 seconds. So let's take off two deaths, 11 seconds, 22 seconds. So you're still saving about a minute and 
it varies. Let's just say a minute and five seconds. I'm not doing the math 100% correctly because there's so many variables that can come into play. We've got the notepad here that's, that shows you the percentage of getting the Hurley Hammer. What I just explained to you, that whole, that whole elaborate, you know, marathon that the Hammer Brothers just did, what I just explained to you with this Hammer Brother coming all the way up, going to the left, coming down, going back to the left, and coming down again, the Hammer Brother doing that is about a one point five to about a two percent chance of happening that's how low it is but it does happen it can save anywhere between 40 seconds to a minute and 15 seconds now after i just explained it to you you could you could be thinking to yourself well why is it 40 seconds now if you just explained it and said you know it's about a minute and five or a minute 15. sometimes you have to die three four times Maybe maybe you have to only die twice. Maybe you only have to die w once. Maybe you have to die five times. The way I explained it to you, that's what it looks like if you die two times to get early hammer. Now, if you were to die once, you would save a lot more time. But if you were to die four times, you wouldn't be saving as much time. But you honestly still would be saving time. That's how long these three levels take. So, after you beat level two, okay... The Hammer Brothers have only moved once previous. Once you beat level two, that's whenever they're gonna move their second time. Remember, if you you need this Hammer Brother beside the castle to move up for your chances, right? He's gotta go in this direction for your chances to be really, really high, okay? For your chances to heighten a lot more. If this Hammer Brother right here moves down after level one, after you beat level one, if this hammer brother moves down and either goes left or below the pyramid, you know that's a movement of two, right? You know you're always going to hear a movement of two after you beat level one because the hammer brother right here is positioned between two levels. This hammer brother always has to do a movement of two. So you'll never know if this hammer brother does a movement of one. He can either go up and he does one movement, right? So he will be finished his walking before this hammer brother finishes his walking so you'll always hear a movement of two okay so we won't know for sure let's say this hammer brother comes down and across the pyramid like that and this hammer brother goes left and goes up by level three okay so we got this hammer brother up and above level three and we got this hammer brother below the pyramid here's the tricky part if this hammer brother above level three does a movement of one and then you hear, like, you can see that he did a movement of one, okay? But And when he's done moving, you still hear the other Hammer Brother continuing and do a movement of two. You know your chances of getting early Hammer, even within three deaths, three to four deaths, which is kind of not something you really want, not much of a time save there. It is so low. Your percentages are so low to get the early Hammer because the only way that this guy can do a movement of two after you beat level two is if he's still by the pyramid. If he moves up, he can't do a movement of two after level two. So if you beat level one and this hammer brother moves up, he's, he's in between two single spaces. He can only do a movement of one and we saw this hammer brother do a movement of one. So there should only be a movement of one. And that right there by listening should tell you that the hammer brother with the hammer is on his way up. He's working his way over, or so you think, you know? So if you hear a movement of two after you beat level two, but you see this hammer brother do a movement of one, you know your chances are massively low. I wanna say thank you to everyone out there supporting me, uh, everyone doing um, everything they can to help out and keep me doing what I'm doing. Without you guys, I would not be able to do this. So thank you very much.